This video is about end times prophecy. It's simplified. This is 2019. The Lord told us many times what to look for at his second coming and the end of the age. These are in Revelation, Mark 13, Matthew 24. Daniel 8:11, Daniel 9:26 through 27 and John 5:43. The true church remains faithful to Christ in his word. Saints can expect to be overcome by the antichrist during great tribulation, persecuted, imprisoned and martyred. They will not take the mark of the beast or worship them. They will remain loyal to Jesus. And Jesus tells us whoever overcomes and endures to the end will be saved. And Paul warns us about falling away because it's going to, go, it's going to happen. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. So let's look briefly at Daniel 9, 24 through 27. This is the 70 weeks prophecy given by God to Daniel. And briefly, 69 weeks has been fulfilled. This is a period of 483 years from the time Artaxerxes gave the command to rebuild Jerusalem to the arrival of Messiah the Prince, who is cut off but not for himself. This leaves one week that is unfulfilled. This is a seven-year final period which marks the rise of the end times Antichrist. Verse 927 is a key identifier of the Antichrist. And it reads, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. This final seven-year period marks the rise of Antichrist. He confirms the covenant and starts sacrifices and oblation. This means there's a, or suggests, there's a third temple in Jerusalem for this to happen. And at the three-and-a-half-year mark, the Antichrist is revealed and puts into place the abomination of desolation. Revelation tells us this is the image of the beast, and the beast demands worship and causes the sacrifices to stop. Now, why is this important? 500 years later, Jesus refers to this event. It's a major sign to watch for, and he tells believers to leave Jerusalem quickly, Matthew 24, 16. From that point on, the Antichrist will initiate the Great Tribulation. That has not been seen since the beginning of the world, Matthew 24, 21. Daniel 9, 27 tells us this goes on for three and a half years till the end. And then the wrath of God is poured on the, out on the desolator. Jesus tells us immediately after the great tribulation of those days, he comes, Matthew 24, 29 through 31, with astrological signs, that is, the sun and moon go dark and with great power and glory in the heavens, and he gathers his elect. Apostle Paul tells us that day doesn't come unless there's a great falling away and a man of perdition is revealed in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 through 4. Verse 4 is very specific. The man of perdition sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. This is the abomination of desolation. Now, 600 years later after Daniel, several decades after Jesus, Apostle John records Revelation, and the sequence of the seven seals follow the pattern given to us by Jesus. The rise of the Antichrist, famines, wars, rumors of wars, death, pestilence, executed believers, and great tribulation. Compare Matthew 24, 4 through 8, 24. 9 through 22 and 24, 29 through 31. This culminates in astrological signs announcing the day of wrath 
imminent return of Christ and the rapture, please read Revelations chapters 6 through 7. John sees the multitude coming out of the Great Tribulation, Revelations 7.14. Revelation chapters 8 through 9 describe the wrath of God poured out on the worshippers of the beast. And then the rest of Revelations is a series of visions, probably not in chronologic order. Uh, John sees the two witnesses who prophesy and, and then are overcome by the beast. He sees the woman and the dragon called Satan. He sees the beast and the false prophet. He sees the 144,000 sealed from the tribes of Israel and the gathering of the harvest of the earth. And then he sees more wrath, the seven plagues and seven vials. Then he sees the harlot, Babylon the Great, and her destruction. And then he sees the heavens open up and sees the Lord bringing quick destruction to the beast, false prophet, and his followers. This brings about the millennial reign of Christ on earth. Now, Revelation continues from chapter 20, where Satan finally gets cast into the lake of fire and a great white throne judgment occurs. Chapter 21 shows us a new heaven and a new earth and a new Jerusalem. So, here's a summary of points to understand regarding the end of the age. Number one, there is a specific series of events to look for. Matthew 24, Revelation 6 through 7, the seven seals, and Daniel 9:27. There is a rise of the Antichrist, someone who counterfeits the real Christ. He confirms the covenant, begins animal sacrifices at a rebuilt. Jerusalem temple and in the middle of the seven-year pact he causes the sacrifices to end and demands worship there is great tribulation for three and a half years characterized by execution and imprisonment of those who don't worship the beast Revelation 13 10 number two there is a great falling away of believers followed by the revealing of the Antichrist who sits in the temple calling himself God 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 3 through 4. The revealing of the Antichrist is marked by the abomination of desolation. Number three, when the abomination of desolation happens, everyone needs to leave Jerusalem fast. Number four, the Antichrist is a man, a conqueror marked for destruction. He comes in his own name. Jesus is Son of God. He comes from heaven in his Father's name. Number five. Astrologic signs announce his imminent return and the day of the Lord. This is after the great tribulation. Number six. The Son of Man will be seen by everyone in the heavens coming with great glory and power and he will then gather his elect. Number seven, those left behind are non-repentant and worship the beast. They will be destroyed. Also look at the parable of wheat and tares and the parable of the net. They describe this event. Number eight, the millennial reign of Christ begins. The elect rule and reign with Christ. Satan is bound for a thousand years, but his final destiny is to be the lake of fire as is those who face the great white throne judgment who are not written in the book of life. Number nine, at the end of Revelation, John sees a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem. And he gives us a final warning. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and enter in through the gates to the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whoever and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Revelation 22:15. Please read all of Revelation. In series, everything works together. Matthew 24, Revelation, and Daniel chapter 9. God bless you. Thank you very much. This is the end of the video.